Right guys, welcome back. Look, um, the fine specimen is coming off the trailer. I need to get some urgent work done on one of the cross beams, quite rusted out, and a few other bits and pieces. And I've been doing a bit of research on how to actually get the boat off the trailer. So I'm gonna attempt it. And undo the latch here, make it in free, free spool and take about maybe half a meter off, probably a bit less, undo the chain, and then, I'm going to reverse, hit the brakes, because I want the boat to slide off probably about 35 centimetres, 40 centimetres, just enough so I can lift it up and push it off eventually. And I've got some tyres here, I've just got two for the back to protect the transom. Another thing is you need to undo your transducers because if you tilt too much you might damage it and make sure the engine is tilted all the way up because you don't want to injure or damage that which, uh, yeah, that'll be a bad thing to happen. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. And then two tires, lock that underneath probably halfway. So when it's all done, the boat is tilted up. So when I have to put it back on the trailer, I can just reverse the trailer on, hook it up, wind it up, and it should be right. But uh, yeah, it's a rainy day, I've picked a good day for it. So let's, uh, let's see how this is gonna happen. Okay, so that actually worked. I've taken off that much without trying to push and push and push because there's no, the only rollers I've got on the bottom bit and I've got the actual skids. So it does, it is harder to push off without the rollers on the sides, but that's good. Now it's still under lock, it ain't going anywhere. And that there, be able to tilt and slowly will come off the boat. And I've just got to determine whether I should unhook that and use the chain because I need a bit of leverage leverage so the trailer can tilt up I don't know if that's the way to do it but let's find out so I need to reverse it I'm not going to jolt it so it gets close to those tyres at the back there at the moment it's half lawn half concrete I want the majority of the boat to be on the lawn just in case something happens nothing not too much damage happens Reverse it. I think that's about okay. Yeah, that's, that's good. So that's fine because the tyres will come over here. <coughs> I've actually got this tie propped up because the label sees a bit of a hole here. So I think that's okay because as I tilt it, that's gonna come back more. But this is in lock. I just turn it another foot, keep it still engaged, or probably a bit more than that. And see if that comes off slowly. Yeah, so that's coming off really, ooh, really easy. Okay, that's good bit more Make sure that's engaged <clears throat> here we are okay so I'm gonna bring it forward because it's actually sitting way too over got the concrete there almost there so I'm gonna bring the car forward a bit just a bit okay won't leave the car running okay exciting stuff yeah that's good so I'll push that off
gadget and lock. Yeah, so this is going to tilt. It's coming off now. The only bad thing is, whoa. Okay. How's that? It's looking Mickey Mouse. That is looking fantastic. I'm going to bring it forward a bit more so I can prop up the tyres here, two tyres here. Looks scary. Whoops. And that will tilt. There you go, so it's going, it's going, it's sliding, it's sliding. Whoa, it's tilting, tilting. Hold that in. Looks pretty good. I need to go forward again. Just a little bit. Probably pop up this now. Right here. Ah, oh, yuck. It's good to go. There we go. Yeah, that's perfect. There you go. So that's off. So that's off the trailer right now. Um, it's sitting on the, the the roller there in the cross beam, so it will go down just a bit. It's just about off. It's still sitting on the trailer. I probably got about yeah. I might as well. Do one more turn. Okay. Hopefully it doesn't turn left or right. Topple over. Then I'll be really stuffed. It looks pretty good. It's still on the trailer. Not by much. That Looks fine, nothing damaged. Awesome. Probably a few more tyres would have been good to prop it up, but. Yeah, so that's sitting on there. That's going to cr cr crash in, but the majority of the weight in the boat is from here because I got rid of all the tanks. Um, ideally, some tyres right there, right now, would be great. Are these loose? No, they're holding it. They're holding it. I think that's going to do it. A oh, bit more and we should be fine. There's no tension at all. The boat's still moving. It's coming off. Yeah. Okay, so that's off. The only thing is it's a bit tobbly. Has it here? That's good. Yeah, so it's a bit on this side here. Keep it level. She won't go anywhere. Hope not anyway. <laughs> Right, that's gone. That is done. So there's a bit of a tilt. But that's fine. 
Woo! Mission accomplished. Alrighty. That was intense. It is going a bit left, but that's fine. It's been taking me about two weeks trying to work it out. What to do. Yeah, that one move. Woo! So I'll quickly show you the damage that needs to be repaired. Look at that rust on the trans beam. It goes right under it. It's too much on the other side there too. Everything else seems to be okay. That probably needs to be replaced. That needs to be replaced. And put a bit of touch up paint because that rust is just superficial. But that there is dangerous. You know, I don't want that to get smashed. Even over here you got some, but that's that's nothing, there's no holes, it's just a bit of paint to fix that up. So I'm also getting the hubs done and the brakes. They're all old and rusty, I can't do it myself. And this needs to be modified. So <laughs> see ya when I actually put the boat on. That could be a different movie altogether. I didn't think this was gonna take that long. Anyway, I just I, I think I need a beer. See you on the next one. Thanks for watching and subscribing, Thomas Fishing Adventures. Fish Tucker Man. Fish Tucker. Fish Tucker. Fish Tucker Man. Fish Tucker. Fish Tucker. The Fish Tucker Man.